The Mighty Networks platform is a popular choice for online courses and community. In this tutorial, we'll look at access, visibility, and charging options for your Mighty Network. You have choices. I'm Marcia Chadley with the Creative Life Center. I enjoy helping you feel comfortable using Mighty Networks and other online technology to connect with your audience. After we look at four types of Mighty Networks, we're also going to talk about some of the options that you have for taking payment for your Mighty Network. You can think of a Mighty Network as a building with different rooms in it. Each host who builds a Mighty Network puts together the building the way they want to with the different rooms that they want. All of them have a home area, which is shown here in green. They have a front door to get into that home area. And then they can have other rooms, groups, and courses with access through that main part of the network. There are four different types of networks, public, private, secret, and paid. New members find and access each of these four types in different ways. And a Mighty Network host has the ability to charge for network membership, and that factors into the network type also. The first type of network we want to look at is a public Mighty Network. A public Mighty Network is free and available to anybody. In fact, you don't even have to be a member to see some of the content inside a public Mighty Network. You can add areas inside rooms, as if we think about the last slide, that are private or are paid, but that main home area is publicly visible by anybody, including search engines. If someone wants to comment on something shared inside that home area, they do need to log in and be a member. You can think of it like a blog post, where in order to add a comment, you have to sign in. Let's take a look at My Mighty Network, which is a public network. Here's the landing page for the Creative Life Center neighborhood. We're looking inside a computer browser. You can also get into networks using the Mighty Networks app. If you go to the URL for the Creative Life Center neighborhood, you're going to see this page. At the top, you'll be able to join. You'll be able to sign in. You'll also notice near the middle of the screen, there's a Join and an Explore button. We'll get back to those in a moment. I want to show you that there's description and different videos. Down here you can get the app. This is what the basic landing page looks like for a public network. And you know it's a public network if you see this explore button. Because if I click this, I haven't signed in, I haven't joined the neighborhood, but I can see what's happening in some of the different areas. Here's my main activity feed where I can see different articles. Now, if I want to comment on one, remember this is read-only access. If I want to comment, I'm going to be requested to join or to sign in if I haven't signed in and I'm already a member. So you have read-only access here. You can look at the different resources that are available. You can also look at the different programs that are available. You'll notice for some of them, you'll have to request access. And for some of them, you'll have to pay. So just because you're entering a free public network does not mean that everything is publicly available or searchable or that everything is free. Some of the things will be, but a host has a choice of what they put together inside their network. The next type of Mighty Network that we want to look at is a private network. So it has private access rather than public access. And what that means is that the only people who can become members are those who request to or those who are invited to be members. So if you look at this landing page, you'll see instead of an explore and a join button, you have a request to join button. You can also sign in. If I request to join, I'll be asked to give my name, say next, and I'm going to be prompted to answer some questions. What these questions do is allow the host of a private Mighty Network to approve new members. You can filter the people that you want to support inside your Mighty Network. The landing page is visible to everybody, but only members of a private network can see the contents. The host can decide to charge or have a free private network. 
if they're going to charge for this network, they'll be collecting the payment outside of the Mighty Networks platform. And I'll talk about that later in the video. Inside a private network, there can be free areas, there can be paid areas, there can be private and secret areas. So you have the choices of the rooms that you want to put inside this private network. The third type of Mighty Network is a secret network. A secret network is not discoverable by anybody except people who are members. You need to be invited to join a secret network. I couldn't do a Google search and find that network. I can't look within the Mighty Networks app and find that network. You have to be invited. Once you're a member, it's similar to every other network. The host can set up different rooms. They can set up rooms that are private, public, secret for members of the network or paid. Now, a secret Mighty Network might be um, free or the host may charge for it. And just like with a private Mighty Network, the host of a secret Mighty Network who wants to charge for it will collect payment outside of the Mighty Networks platform. The fourth type of Mighty Network is a paid network. And by paid, I mean you're the members are paying through the Mighty Networks platform. Here's an example. When you get to the landing page of a paid network, and we're looking here in the browser, the same thing will happen if you're in the app. You'll see the options to sign in or to choose a plan. Now you can click this choose a plan button and it will take you down to the plans. I'll do that so you see. Or the other option, because you probably want to know what's going to go on in this network, is to scroll through and read about the network itself, what's happening, what you'll be able to do, and then you come down to these plans again. In a paid network, the host of the network has set up some different options for you to join the network, and you have different access depending on what options you choose. Now, these options, these plans could be free, they could be paid. They can bundle multiple things together. You can see that right here. In this case, Tabitha Lant is offering free membership in her network. If you choose to access here, you'll be invited to join the network. So the difference between a paid free network and a public network, which is also free, is that in the public network, you could go right in and explore without creating a membership. If you want to explore and take advantage of the free membership in a paid network, you'll need to sign in. You'll need to create a profile, give your name and email address. If you know you're going to purchase something, like say this class, you click on that, it talks to you about the class, and it will give you a way to buy it. You'll see you get membership to this network. You also get membership and access in this particular course. And you can read about it here, and then you buy it through the Mighty Networks platform. Now, the host of a paid Mighty Network can also set up plans that are hidden, that they can send out links to people to see those plans. They might want to have a special price for different people. Payment for paid networks happens through the Mighty Networks platform, and Stripe is currently the only payment processor choice used by Mighty Networks. Hosts may charge for membership to a network um, a private or a secret network, or even a paid network outside of Mighty Networks. When you do that, you can use whatever payment processor or software that you want to use, whatever shopping cart. When somebody pays you, then you give them a link to access your network or a specific course or area inside your network. And all this can be automated using Zapier. This video shares the basics of four different types of networks available in the Mighty Networks platform. You probably have more questions. To dive deeper into your particular situation, I invite you to explore my public Mighty Network, the information and programs available there, and I do also work privately one-on-one -on -one with people. Have fun designing your network to fit you.